Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here today to review the Belko experiment. This is something I've been wanting to see for a while. I remember seeing a, a one experimental film that I was like two versions of it. I, one had Forrest Whitaker in it where like, I think they were in a, in a, they sent to be in a prison and like, there was like 40 people and like 20 people were like to be guards. 20 people were like to be uh, inmates. And how they were treated and stuff like that. And how things went about. And I really liked that. My dad thought it was a unique idea. Now comes the Belko experiment. Earlier this year. Or it might have been. No, earlier this year. Um, and the weird thing. It was seeing Orion. It was from Orion again. Now Orion was a film company that went out of business. Even though they had a, that hit Silence of the Lambs. Not too long after that. I know they wanted to make the Adams Family movie. And I remember this is a big thing to do in Fort Bragg. I remember reading in the paper, hearing about it. They ran out of money and they couldn't do it. So Paramount ended up buying it, the story from them, and Paramount ended up doing it. Then after that, you didn't see uh, Orion that much anyway. So Orion was bankrupt, but they came out with Robocop 3, which is, eh, okay. I, lo I love the other two, but oh, Robocop 3, eh. I know uh, Rick Sullivan, Gore Gazette, said that... Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is Orion's attempt to help get back out of bankruptcy. It, it says it's not going to help. It's not. It's not. It's it's not a bad film. It's only okay. And then I saw they did a uh, a year or two later they did something with uh, ra radioactive or something like that with Jim Belushi involving a cave or something. Some sci-fi thing I saw on Cinemax. That was from Orion. I liked that movie. And then I didn't really hear anything from Orion except when I was buying. Uh, Getting renting videos from uh, American International, you know, you see the Orion logo at the beginning, so they must have bought uh, American International. And then I started seeing the American International stuff on MGM. So you see the MGM logo, and then you see the Orion logo, and then you see the American International logo. So MGM bought Orion, and they're using that company just to release smaller films. And it was the first time. I've seen a Orion logo on a movie screen in a big theater since I saw Robocop in the military theater. Oh, no, no, no. I take that back. I, the first time I've seen that, nope, uh, I saw it at John's place. I didn't want to, it was a big screen at John's place. It wasn't a movie theater. My mind. But I haven't seen that logo and since in a while and, and throughout a real movie that they owned uh, that's brand new. And what that is about, like, they're in uh, Columbia, South America, not Columbia, South Carolina, which is where I went to basic at Fort Jackson. Uh, not to be confused with that. And these guys are, it's like a thing to help Americans in a workplace overseas or something like that. And they have regular people and local people working there. There's a big high-rise building in the middle of pretty much nowhere. And there's like a little hangar out there and stuff. And a little road, and uh, basically, you know, they go about their uh, real day. John C. McRiley, if I'm not mistaken, that's his name. John C. McGinley. John C. McGinley. And then he plays a real creep. He was pretty funny. I like him. And there's humor in this too. And there was like some other actors I recommend. Michael Rooker was in there, and then the guy who played Larry Kubiak. From Parker Lewis Can't Lose. I was a big Parker Lewis Can't Lose fan back in the, in my Army days in Fort Bragg. And then it played out. It was like on for another year or two after that. But it, that stuff, some of the Parker Lewis Can't Lose Summer Vacation didn't really work that well. It worked best when it was, they were in the school. And basically, you know, they're going about their day and he says, Attention, attention. Uh, you're part of this experiment now. You said you need. we need you to kill two of your co-workers. Uh, within the next half hour, if that's not done, uh, serious repercussion will be met. And then they blocked off. They started locking up with the steel things up all the way up top the high rise. And of course, that didn't happen. And then within that half hour, four people were randomly killed. And they were killed because they had these implants in the back of their head and they were explosives. And that's what was killing him. And the guy that was in the hangar there was doing it through remote control. And there was cameras all over the place. It's a great movie. I don't want to give away any spoilers or anything like that. But I really enjoyed it. And John did too. John saw it before I did. Because we were talking about seeing it at the theater. And uh, 
and we held off on it, and I was like, uh, it's probably not going to be the one that's going to last around that long. It might last in three weeks or something like that. I don't think it did very well. But it's a fantastic movie. I loved it. And like Jeremy Johnson, uh, Chris Stuckman said like it was hampered by a low budget. Everything looked fine to me. I don't see the low budget stuff in it. It was like one or two shots on the outside looked like a miniature, but that was it. I thought it looked fine for what inside. I thought it looked fine for what it was. I really enjoyed it. I think my dad would have liked it too. He might have said it was a little too bloody. Because it is pretty bloody, but I really enjoyed it. Or he might not like the, the humor in it uh, when things were going down. But I thought it was a great film. I, I loved it. So that's a full on town on me. Uh, full on 10 out of 10 for me. And um, check out Me and Be Designs for my uh, two t shirts. I'll put the link in the description. I hope you like this video. And until next time, bye, please. Take care of my legion.